Today's story. The Fantastic Train Adventure, A Journey of Discovery. Chapter 1, All Aboard. The sun was shining brightly in the sky as a group of excited children gathered at the train station. They had been looking forward to this day for weeks, and now it was finally here. The train was waiting for them, puffing steam from its engine and whistling impatiently. The children clambered up the steps and into the carriage, taking their seats by the windows. They gazed out at the passing scenery, eagerly pointing out landmarks and sights that they recognized. They chatted and laughed, their excitement building with every passing minute. As the train pulled out of the station, the children waved goodbye to their parents, feeling a sense of independence and freedom that they had never felt before. They were on their way to the big city, and nothing could stop them now. The train rattled along the tracks, picking up speed and hurtling towards their destination. The children felt the wind rushing past their faces, their hair flying in the breeze. They leaned out of the windows, watching as the world flew by in a blur of colors and shapes. For a while, they were lost in the thrill of the journey, the anticipation of the adventures that lay ahead. They didn't know what the day would bring, but they knew that they were ready for anything. They were on a train journey, and nothing could be more exciting than that. Chapter 2, Train Troubles The train journey was going smoothly until the train suddenly came to a halt. The children were confused and looked out of the window to see what was going on. They saw a group of railway workers trying to fix a broken rail ahead. The children waited patiently, but the delay turned out to be longer than they had anticipated. The train was stuck for hours, and the children were growing restless. They started to complain and worry that their whole day would be ruined. To make matters worse, the train was delayed even further, and when it finally started moving again, it was a different train from the one they had originally boarded. The new train was old and shabby, with no air conditioning and uncomfortable seats. Despite their disappointment, the children tried to make the best of the situation. They played games, told stories, and sang songs to keep themselves entertained. They even made friends with some of the other passengers on the train, and they all tried to keep each other's spirits up. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the train pulled into the station in the big city. The children were tired and hungry, but they were relieved to have finally arrived. 
They knew that their train journey may not have gone as planned, but they were determined to make the most of the time they had left in the city. Chapter 3 – The Big City Adventure The children were finally in the big city, and they were ready to explore. They stepped out of the train station and into the bustling city streets, their eyes wide with wonder. They were amazed by the towering skyscrapers, the busy crowds, and the endless shops and restaurants. They decided to start their adventure by visiting the city's famous park. They took a taxi to the park entrance and spent the afternoon wandering around the gardens, watching street performers, and picnicking on the grass. As the sun began to set, the children headed towards the city center to explore the sights and sounds of the downtown area. They marveled at the bright lights and towering buildings, feeling like they were part of something special. They visited the city's main square, where they saw street performers, listened to live music, and tried delicious street food. They even stumbled upon an open-air market, where they bought souvenirs to take home. As the night wore on, the children grew tired but were determined to make the most of their time in the city. They decided to take a late-night stroll along the river, where they watched the lights of the city reflecting on the water. The children were exhausted but happy, knowing that they had just experienced a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. They couldn't wait to tell their friends and family about their incredible train journey and the amazing things they had seen and done in the big city. Chapter 4, Lost Luggage The children had a fantastic time in the big city, but as they were gathering their belongings to board the train back home, they realized that one of their suitcases was missing. They searched high and low, but couldn't find it anywhere. Panic set in as they realized that their missing suitcase contained all their souvenirs, clothes, and even some important documents. The children didn't know what to do, and they were afraid that their fantastic adventure would be ruined by this unfortunate incident. They went to the lost luggage counter and spoke to a helpful staff member, who assured them that they would do everything possible to find the missing suitcase. The staff member took down all the children's details and promised to contact them as soon as the suitcase was found.
The children were relieved but still anxious about the situation. They had planned to take the train home that day, but with the missing suitcase, they were unsure if they could go home without it. They decided to wait and see if their suitcase would be found before making any decisions. After several tense hours, the staff member called to inform the children that their suitcase had been found and was waiting for them at the lost luggage counter. The children were overjoyed and thanked the staff member for their help. With their suitcase in hand, the children boarded the train, relieved and grateful that their fantastic adventure had not been ruined by this small setback. They were tired but happy, and as the train pulled out of the station, they sat back and reminisced about their unforgettable train journey to the big city. Chapter 5, The Train Journey Home As the train chugged its way back home, the children sat in their seats, looking out the window and reflecting on the amazing adventure they had just experienced. They talked excitedly about all the things they had seen and done, and they promised to never forget their fantastic train journey. The train passed through the countryside, and the children watched as the scenery changed from the bright lights of the big city to the peaceful countryside. They saw rolling hills, fields of flowers, and small towns dotted along the way. As the train made its way back to their hometown, the children realized that their adventure was coming to an end. They felt a sense of sadness, knowing that they would soon have to say goodbye to the excitement and adventure they had experienced over the past few days. But as they pulled into the train station, the children knew that they had gained something valuable from their journey. They had learned about new places, met interesting people, and experienced new things. The children stepped off the train and were greeted by their families, who were eager to hear about their adventure. They hugged their loved ones tightly, feeling grateful for the opportunity to go on such an incredible journey. As they drove home, the children looked out the window and smiled, knowing that they would always carry the memories of their train journey in their hearts. They had learned that sometimes the most amazing adventures can be found just by taking a train ride and exploring the world around them. The end.